Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCB Auto Labs. For more information uh, and to view the source code and to learn more about this particular video, you can log on to www.jcbrolabs.org. You can also download the required softwares or the circuit diagram uh, at the given link below this video. And you can also have a more insight description about the same video on our website. So in this particular video, we'll talk about how to program a 8051 microcontroller and specifically the 8T89S series microcontroller using Arduino. So let's have a small description about the board. Uh, this is our Arduino board and this is our 8051 development program board and here it is a uh, IC and to demonstrate the program we have connected uh, the LEDs here uh, right now there is a pre uh, downloaded software there uh, download program is there which is alternated blinking these LEDs so coming to the point First, uh, we need to write a small program into this Arduino ID and that program is available at our uh, website. So just open this program. So this is a small kind of firmware which needs to be first put inside our Arduino board. So it's very easy. Just connect your Arduino board and then go to tools and then select board Arduino Uno and then select the COM port at which your Arduino board is connected and then just upload the software One software is uploaded. Uh, I think right now software is being uploaded. Uh, what's it, uh, it is hang. One software is uploaded on the Arduino ID. Then you need to connect the circuit diagram of the 89S series uh, microcontroller as per uh, these connections. That means the pin number two should be connected to the RST pin of the controller. Pin number 3 should go to the pin number 1.7 uh, Pin number 8 of the microcontroller Pin number 4 should go to the pin number 7 or port 1.6 And pin number 5 should go to the pin number 1.5 or pin number 6 That's it uh, This is the small connection which we need to uh, connect uh, from Arduino board to the 89S5 to microcontroller series then uh, after that <coughs> uh, open this uh, small uh, software program that is 89s52 programmer and it is also there to uh, uh, to download uh, which is available on our website so if everything is fine you just need to connect and let's quit it and again if uh, your program is uh, burned correctly into the Arduino and if you connect it to the port number 33 it should display like port is connected and then uh, identify the chip if you are uh, using any pre-built uh, ID pre-built uh, uh, your it uh, a development board you should keep pressing the reset button and then press the identify chip okay so it is not connecting right now i hope there is something wrong into the programmer so let's do it again Done uploading and then connect.
uh, once you keep press identify because sometimes uh, in already pre-built development board you need to keep pressing this uh, reset button here and then when you press identify chip ATS 95 so right now we will do one thing first let's write a small program in uh, kill id and then uh, we will move forward so for that uh, to understand how to write up uh, kill software or kill program uh, in assembly language 48051 you can uh, refer to our uh, previous video on our channel so we have written and everything is done uh, on this uh, pre-built software so we'll just uh, continue to move on from here so here what we were doing we were just sending alternate commands so that uh, LEDs were alternate blinking so we will do we'll make 00 and FFH so the ultimate goal is to generate the hex file so either you can write it through assembly code or you can uh, write it through uh, C language code uh, in both cases to burning the program um, on 8051 micro into chip will be same because uh, we only concerned about generating the hex file so once it is done so right now it is at near about one second delay it is on it is turning on and off all the leds so program it hex file has been generated now let's open hex file here it is and then keep uh, reset button and then press upload hex so as soon as you upload the hex it starts writing uh, one location at a time of your 8051 microcontroller memory locations and on uh, C on 8051 bit all the uh, lights will be turning on uh, as indicating like uh, you are writing the software and all the LEDs port is right now reset so everything is written and uh, it will go up to its uh, location because it has some kind of program memory inbuilt on the chip so let's wait for some time done and so our program is has been uploaded on the microcontroller now all the ice leds are just on and off on and off so it's very easy no need to buy any uh, expensive uh, programmer for programming your 8051 microcontroller just you need a 450 rupees board, Arduino board and even you can use this Arduino board for other uh, applications of your and then just simply by it you can make your Arduino to a programmer so let's try another program and the last one uh, instead of this one let's say half the LEDs will be turning on and for other time another half Will be turning on so LEDs are a good indicator to demonstrate like okay your program is working so that is why we uh, when we uh, provide tutorial videos or we teach students at our end uh, we make sure all the students just do uh, some small practicals on this LED so let's program it with the zero error three warnings you can also verify the same whether your program is working or not uh, through the logic analyzer and we have also discussed the same in one of our previous video how to use logic analyzer in kale so you can go through that too so our hex file has been generated your hex file goes into the same folder where you have written all the codes so right now mm, this is the hex file test so again we will open hex file because it is connected going there 
open and then again uh, we will first press reset and then we will identify okay doesn't direct and then upload here so again it is writing so we have our own development board so uh, this is a small price we have to pay to download the source code entry uh, we need to keep pressing or keep uh, holding this uh, reset switch so that uh, this process ends satisfactorily so if you uh, you can also buy a build your own hardware in which uh, you can uh, make a process like okay when we are writing or instead of a push button you can make uh, a slider switch from where you can provide two states program and normal running so you can just switch to program and then your program will be done and then switch back to normal uh, normal running and then uh, your controller will be running normally so in that case you don't have to bear the pain of holding the push button all the time so it's going to be finished let's see okay press then for some parts sometime your lower half four bits are uh, turning on and for other time your upper uh, four bits are 